Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel and on this 26th January I this I did this look and which you all really liked on Instagram. So here I am sharing that makeup look with you all. So first of all, I'm gonna conceal my under eyes and my mouth area around my mouth area because I need extra coverage there. So I'm just applying a concealer which is very near to my skin color. The shade is close to my skin color and after that with the help of beauty blender, I'm just gonna blend it nicely that's there and then i'm applying this fit me foundation i will uh, i will give every product details in the description box below so don't forget to check that out every shade everything will be in the description box below so after applying my foundation this is a very very nice and nice coverage foundation you can also build it up i do not like a lot of coverage when i'm doing a photo shoot so after that i'm just gonna conceal the area where i need a little brightness in my face so that is like under my eyes like high points of my face on my nose and i'm just with the help of beauty blender i'm blending in everything just making sure that everything is skin like then with the help of pack brush pack 004 i'm just gonna buff every lines and anything if there is any patch or something just making sure that everything is well blended then with the help of a translucent powder i'm gonna set my face so my translucent powder was over so when you don't have translucent powder you can also use the regular talcum powder that is what i'm doing here after that i'm just gonna contour my nose and i tell you guys this product is worth everything it's not that expensive but it does the work very very nicely i was looking out for a contour shade for quite a long time now and this is something i bought and i am totally in love with this this gives you very na natural contour and it does not give you any harsh lines or anything you can also build it up how much you like i usually don't like to harsh contour my face and i really like this product so yeah after that i'm just gonna apply so with the help of fluffy blending eyeshadow brush i'm applying that brown contour shade onto my crease and then i'm just taking this maroonish copperish eyeshadow and applying that on my lids this look is perfect for daytime if you are going for daytime event you can build the intensity of the color as much as you like but this is a perfect daytime look with any traditional outfit this eye color will look very very nice it's a common eye color and this is gonna look nice with any traditional outfit so i'm applying that with the help of flat brush and just making sure that it's applied properly on my eyelids and i'm just going for one color because it's daytime and i don't want a lot of colors on my eyes so after that i'm taking my faces solid black kajal and applying that on my waterline well, applying that in my waterline and i'm just applying that half because that is how i wanted this look to be then then i'm just gonna apply wing liner and i love wing liner by now you all know that i prefer wing liners always because i feel they make your eyes look more beautiful and they give you a very nice shape and it was a traditional kathak look so this is how it was going to suit the look so if you are someone who doesn't like wing liners or long long liners then just tone it down a little bit then i used maybelline hypercolor mascara which is one of my favorite maybelline's product i love this maybelline's hypercolor mascara it really lengthens your lashes and they look really pretty and after that i'm using maybelline's master chrome highlighter this is one of the most hype product of maybelline maybelline is one brand which is affordable and it's perfect for the people who cannot afford expensive makeup makeup ex makeup is really expensive in general so 
if you are looking for makeup which is affordable but it really is a nice product then just go for maybelline and then i'm applying it into my inner corners of my eyes and these are the steps that will really pop your makeup so just don't avoid doing these steps just do these steps and that will really that will enhance your makeup look then i'm applying my lipstick as a blush because lately i have been loving cream blushes and they they look natural so i wanted something that will just look like my skin that i'm glowing from within and i'm blushing from within so this is the effect i wanted to create so i'm using my cream blush then i'm applying some highlighter onto it and you can see how subtle and shiny it's looking yet it looks very very like skin like and that was it highlighter does make difference so just don't avoid highlighters they look pretty so go for it as much as you want and after that i'm applying this nika lipstick which is a new shade i'm applying that first and then i'm applying a nice maroonish red shade lipstick on my uh, on my lips i'm going to give all the information of products in the description bar below so don't forget to check that out if you want anything if you like anything you can just go in the description bar below and just check for it this is the look this is how it turned out i really loved it you all also like the pictures that it was for 26th january and they turned out really beautiful then i wore my accessories and went out for a shoot guys if you want to see such more content then do let me know in the comment section below also don't forget to like my channel subscribe to it and switch on that bell notification for many such videos i am doing variety of content so that you also you guys will also be entertained by my content i'm enjoying this i hope you all are also enjoying this just keep watching my video and keep supporting and i will see you all soon next time so bye bye